<coughs> All right. <sighs> Just got done with the goats. Um, <clears throat> took them a little bit of feed. Not very much because I don't want to overdo it. But I'm trying to earn some of their trust. And I also wanted to check on them because I can't see them from the trail camera very well. I can just kind of sort of keep an eye on them. I probably ought to do this video tomorrow. <clears throat> But I cleared a path for the third yard right here. It's not going to be a very big yard, but, <clears throat> you know, it, it'd be good for the Nigerians because they're, they're smaller. Um, so I'm focusing. Hi, Candy. Hello, Candy. She's our little princess, yes. Princess Candy. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Well, yeah, now that it's dark, I can go ahead and uh, check on the chickens. I can count them, see how many chickens I got left. Should be about 20, 21. <clears throat> oh. That's Callie right there. Callie! She's actually not a Callie co. But her mom came from an old girl's home and they named her Callie. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess she came, either they thought she was a Calico or she came from California and her name was Callie. And she looks like her mom, so I named her Callie. Also, her mom disappeared. Um, well, okay, her mom was pregnant and had well, actually, had already had the kittens, and they had to get rid of her. her. So, uh, they had a yard sale or something like that, and it just I. There was a cat puzzle or something, and so I had said something about loving, liking cats. And so uh, they asked me if I wanted a cat and with kittens, and I'm like, sure, you know, because I do do a cat sanctuary here. And, uh, oh, wait, I need that for the uh, chicken feed. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could do it in the morning. I'll just check on the chickens tonight. <clears throat> and uh, so I got her pregnant. I, mean, I didn't get her pregnant. <laughs> we, she was already pregnant when we got her. And <laughs> so, uh, hello chickens and cats. You're not supposed to follow me in here. Buck, buck. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Where's the rest of them? Sixteen. I'm missing chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, eighteen. I'm missing like three chickens. Two or three. Oh shit. One's dead in here. What the heck happened? Looks like she got trampled for whatever reason. I have 
to dispose of that. Got more eggs. None of them are the ones that I marked. And of course, David hasn't been marking them. Here we go. This was last week's. Well, that's not marked either. Of course, David doesn't care. I'm the only one who does, apparently. That one's broke. So it's out of here. That one's not marked either. <clears throat> I don't know why they bury them. That one's cracked. Yeah, you gotta check on these guys regularly. David doesn't do that. I don't know if he cares or not, but he doesn't seem to care. I'm gonna put those over here. I'm gonna get rid of them. Now I know I got some egg eaters. This nest here looks okay. All right, I'm gonna mark these. Um, today's the 19th. <clears throat> One of my gray hands is fruity. I just don't know which one. The egg looks like it might be weak. I'll put 18 on it. That one looks strong. I'm going to put 19 on it. This one's probably weak, but it looks okay, so I'm going to put 19 on it. I don't know if a magic marker will do harm to them, but I don't think it will. I was using uh, Crayolas before, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, anyways. So we'll see how these do. These... <clears throat> Oh, that one says 12 on it. Okay, that was from last weekend. And it's cracked. Oh, they're both cracked. So this one has been dropped since then. There should be another one, a little tiny one in here. Maybe I took it out already.
the last thing I need is an egg blowing up in here attracting bugs and then they start eating eggs again trying to prevent them from being egg eaters all right so I'm missing a couple chickens Take this guy and put him in the burn barrel. Hey, that almost got me. <laughs> Just kidding. Callie, kitty, 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 kitty. All right, let's go, Callie. Cats eating dead chickens. I don't want you guys to get any bat, any wrong ideas. There for now. Uh, if I had a compost, I'd put the chicken in the compost. But I don't. <clears throat> Not yet, anyways. All I got is like liquid compost. Which is where these eggs are going. Scared me. Oops. Oops. I missed. I guess I should have walked in there and did it. Now the cats are going to eat it. Hopefully they don't get any ideas from that. So let me just go in there and squish them down. I got rubber boots on. If they broke open, which I'm sure they did, yes. Looks like half of that went in and half of it didn't. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. This is going to be my cantaloupe watermelon garden. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in some dirt as soon as my pickup truck gets fixed. And instead of trying to grow them in the ground like I did last time, which is kind of stupid, because all these weeds grew up instead and choked out my stuff. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll bring in another two of these. I'm going to put them right here. One, two. And then maybe even more. I'll just make a little walkway for me to get around. <clears throat> and... Um, then I'm going to put uh, the lick tubs along the sides. <clears throat> and then, so I'll have these guys as the dividers. And then I'm going to grow cantaloupe on one side and watermelon on the other. Probably a watermelon on this side it looks bigger. And the cantaloupe on that side. <clears throat> and then whatever grows outside the fence, the animals can have. And then everything inside the fence will be for... Me, and also for resale. I'm going to try to set up a... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to set up a farmer's market in Kaplinger Mills. <clears throat> and uh, so we'll be selling like watermelon, cantaloupe, blackberries, whatever, over there. So, what? You guys think you're going to eat or something? Kitty kitties. Mohawk. Kitty 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 kitty. <laughs> so anyways, I already got the lick tubs <laughs> that I'm going to put in there. 
and yeah that's what i'm gonna try oh, i'm gonna try again this year but you can't really see this very well but <clears throat> i'm gonna put up a eight foot or ten foot <laughs> um um two by four or four by four um corner posts <clears throat> And I'm going to, um, I might even just use the hedge up front. <clears throat> and then I'm going to run horse fence around this. And then, uh, um, maybe goat fence around the top so nothing can jump in, you know, like deer. <clears throat> and this will be a 50 by 50 yard <clears throat> where I'll grow other things as well, potentially grow other things as well but it'll be more like uh wild edibles <clears throat> like uh those um wild cherry tomatoes they're called uh chinese lanterns <clears throat> <clears throat> and so that's what this yard will end up being is just chinese lanterns what i'll do is i'll run uh, the goats in here to eat everything down <clears throat> until the month before the Chinese lanterns are supposed to come up <clears throat> and then uh, then it'll be off limits <clears throat> and the goats will fertilize it and basically eat all the weeds that will grow up before the Chinese lanterns will and then the Chinese lanterns will grow up. <clears throat> and then I can just go in and weed the other weeds that pop up in between. <clears throat> now, um, David's got some Jerusalem artichokes down here. Some of them were already here, but David tries to claim all of them. Oh, they're mine. It's like, they're not all yours. You only planted some of them. Some of them were already here. <clears throat> But he tries to claim everything. He's even trying to claim my goats. <laughs> you know, he's got three. Technically, he only had two goats left that were alive that he didn't let die. And then uh, <clears throat> one, which is Cleopatra, had um, two girls. One was Trig, <clears throat> and another one, which died uh, two weeks ago because of the thing that happened, and David wasn't keeping an eye on the goats <clears throat> while I was gone. <clears throat> so he lost one. Then he's trying to claim my other goat because he lost his goat, so now he's trying to claim my goat as his. <clears throat> Because he let his die, <laughs> along with two of mine. And then Cleopatra also just gave birth <clears throat> to two more. But again, the father's mine, right? So <clears throat> if I'm paying all the bills, I'm buying all the food, I'm paying all the medical expenses... The mother is his and the father is mine and she has two babies. Don't I get one of them and he gets one of them? Technically, I think I should get both since I'm paying all the bills, paying all the food, paying for all the medicine. He doesn't pay for squat, <clears throat> but he thinks he has claim over both of them. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> You're lucky I even let you have the one. So, <clears throat> and other people agree with me, but they don't want to get involved, <clears throat> which I kind of understand that, you know, it's between him and I, but I'm not going to let him claim my goat. So I let him have the one. And if he wants to pay Trigg's medical expenses <clears throat> and compensate me for the food, <clears throat> then I'll let him have her as well and her baby. Because she just had a baby. We wasn't expecting that. So, but she only had one. And again, the father's mine. 
So <clears throat> who should claim that one? So, yeah, not that anybody watches my videos, but if you do, let me know who you think has fair rights <clears throat> to the single child <laughs> who basically is mother. I pay for the food. I pay for her medical bills. <clears throat> um, she's the one or the three-legged goat. I paid for the medis you know, the, the medicine, I paid for the amputation, I paid for everything. <clears throat> and uh I pay all the bills around here. I pay the mortgage, I pay for the fencing, I pay for everything. He doesn't pay squat. So <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I don't think he deserves anything. I don't even think he deserves the goats that he already has because he doesn't take care of them. I ended up taking over in 2019 because of his neglect and uh, <clears throat> his careless attitude. And so now I'm learning what I got to do because I'm... Basically, that's all I'm going to do now is goats. Oh, yeah, I'm missing two chickens. I got to go back down there and find those chickens. If they're alive, probably not. They've probably been missing for more than a couple days. <clears throat> like I said, he don't care. He don't check on them. He just opens the door in the morning and then closes the door at night. He don't check the eggs. He don't check the chickens. Like I said, he don't care. <clears throat> so, I need a new business partner. I mean, he's not my business partner anymore. I demoted him a couple, of few years ago. Like I said, he pretty much quit on me in 2018. He let most all the goats die in 2019. Then try to blame me. <clears throat> um, then he, then we lost three more and almost lost four more on top of that. And he tried to blame me again. Uh, I swear. <clears throat> He's lucky I haven't kicked him off the land already. But I need somebody to look after things while I'm gone. And unfortunately, as worthless as he is, he's all I got. So I definitely need somebody to replace him. Somebody I can depend on, somebody I can rely on. Once I got that, I can care less if he leaves or stays. I'll stick him in the back 40. I, I just don't care. <clears throat> you know, he's cost me too much money. He's a liability. So, but... You know, my biggest thing is I don't want to make him homeless like his family did. But now I understand why his family wanted to get rid of him. <laughs> but anyways, I'm trying not to be negative. It's difficult. Uh, and I got to go find two chickens. So I was doing good for a minute and then I got off on the negative. I can be critical. I know that. <clears throat> and I try not to be. But the way things have been going, it's hard. It's really difficult to stay positive. So, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go find those two chickens. Hopefully, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I'm going to go do my paperwork, do my logbook, and probably go to bed so I can get an early start tomorrow. <clears throat> Mohawk. You're under my feet. You're under my feet. She's precious. You're precious. Yes, you are. Precious. Yeah. I love cats. <coughs> I like animals. You know. Um... This is where I spend most of my time when I'm home, is back here with the animals. 
David spends most of his time up there in the greenhouse. He don't even hardly check on the animals. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. All right. Trying to be positive. Trying to be positive. Trying to be positive. Trying to be positive. Kelly. Kelly, girl. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Yeah, she loves me. I think they all do. <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> all right. They do lift my spirits. The cats, the chickens, the goats. I wish I could be here more often. And pay all the bills. Once I get the land paid off, and I find a decent business partner that can help me make some money, <clears throat> then maybe I don't need to be on the road anymore, you know? But, you know, I'm just trying to pay the bills and stuff. Get this place running. I get enough goats. I get the fencing done. I, I got a guy I'm going to hire to do the fencing. <clears throat> um, he'll get it done. Lickety split. But anyways, once I get the fencing done, I get, you know, enough money coming in with the goats. Then uh, I can be here more often to do stuff. <clears throat> and make money here on the land. What's this? Kleenexes? I need to throw all this paper in the chicken coop. Let them scratch it and break it down. Anyways, alright. We're almost to 30 minutes. I'm gonna just turn my flashlight on and look for chickens. If they're around. Alright, bye.